Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of ASP.NET Core Web API. In this session, we are going to see how we can implement Swagger or Swashwakal in our ASP.NET Core Web API. Guys, before starting the session, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notifications. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. What is Swagger? Swagger is an open source framework that enables developers to create, document, and test APIs in a simple and user friendly way. It provides a powerful platform for designing, building, and documenting RESTful API. Swagger has several advantages, including ability to automatically create documentation for your API, assist with API testing, and increase accessibility of your API. And it provides a simple connect with already in use development framework and tools. For that, we need swashwakal.asp.net core NuGet package. I'm using Visual Studio 2022, creating a new, new project, a .NET Core Web API project, creating Nest. I'm giving Swagger demo 7.0. Click on next. For now, I am not keeping HTTPS. I am keeping only controller. Check outing enable open API. Open API is the swagger. So I will go manual one by one step. So I am just using controller. Let's create the project. Then we will go and install the NuGet package. So our project got ready. If we run our application for now. So how it will look? It will look without any GUI. So it will only open our browser with the our yeah weather forecast service, right? Now go to tools, new get package manager, manage new get package for solutions. Here you can browse. You can write swashbuckle.asp.net core asp.net core and you can install this one swashbuckle i am installing the here so this is the step by step or if we create a project and we are checking it to open api support then automatically this new get package will add now next task is to go to our program.cs file, here we need to add builder.services or swaggergen. And one more thing, here we can add. Remember, guys, swagger are normally used for development environment. In live production environment, we don't show the Swagger UI. We can write like this app dot use Swagger UI app dot use Swagger UI. But this thing should be in our development environment. So if app dot let me see app dot environment dot each development then only it will go for our it will show our ui so let's run the application and see how it's displaying now guys to create this kind of project it takes time yes it takes really good effort so now you can see that nothing is coming again the same thing now stop the application in the app dot use swagger ui now i am adding app dot swagger ui option option dot swagger endpoint is this one right now run the application and see we are getting our ui or not so this is this will be my json file and this will be my ui version the heading Now index dot so you can see the swagger UI is coming. 
right now this is weather forecast service and this is my api but swagger ui as i told it's used for documentations so let's how you can use documentation in swagger ui so go to our model this is my model so here i am giving let's give some comment and i will come to again here so here i have added com comment for this model and this properties same thing i'm going to do for controller to my api okay this is my api this is my controller okay here i can write now run the application and see the different is coming or not if not coming that we need to go to modify our program.cs file inside our so here this will be swagger slash index.html no it's not coming nothing is coming here right for that we need to go to our program.cs file we need to modify here You can write our code inside this. You can write like this. Okay. Let me see why it is coming expected. Okay. It is expecting a this one. Right. Now this is coming like this. Now run the application and see. So here what I did in this Swagger gen, I added Swagger doc, which is version one test API, the description, the term of service, the URL I'm adding, contact, email, everything, uh, anything you can give, extension also you can give. License, you can give license, URL name and extension, right? So now I'm running this one and go to our Swagger UI. So you can see, our text simple terms contact and upon license which is this one is added to our swagger ui but still it is not showing our comments in our ui part here right to do that we need to do like this go to our program.cs file inside we need to declare a file path and file name to declare like file name <coughs> assembly dot get executable assembly dot get name dot name dot xml so it will be xml file and file path equal to base directory dot file name right so save the application and go to the our containing folder go to bin <coughs> excuse me debug dot net 7.0 you can see there is no xml file is there so it will throw us an error. Let the application and we will see it will throw us it will throw error. File not found or path not found. Right? Could not find the file. Now go to the application, right click properties. Inside the build section, if you go to output. Here there is a documentation file. Just check this one. Save the application. Build the solution. Build succeed. So you can see there will be a XML file. Yes. XML file is created just now. Now run the applications and we will see our given comment, which will be this one, and in this model, it will be showing the swagger ui so you can see this api used for weather forecast if you go to weather forecast model this weather class used for everything it is coming like here so, right all the comment temperature in celsius temperature fahrenheit which i have written in the comment section summary section so in this way we can implement swagger we can go to 
NuGet package, you can install this NuGet package and we can configure our application in our program.cs file and in our properties also in the documentation generate file containing API documentation. Right? Let's see what it is content. Upon a notepad, it content complete. We have given the comment summary, it contains the summary. So these are all about implementing Swagger in your .NET Core 7.0. Guys, I hope you like this session. If you do, give me a like and share your comments and suggestions in the comment box. Thank you very much.